Alright, so you're looking to get your TEFL certificate and you want to teach English, whether it's overseas or I guess in your own home country. Well, I have plenty of questions going through the process and I noticed that it was really hard to find a lot of answers, especially when it came to specifics. So this is going to be um, my point of view as I go through my TEFL experience and the choices that I made. But first, I'm going to give you a little bit of background about myself. Um, I am a native English speaker from the U.S. Um, hopefully, you can hear that I have a relatively neutral accent. Um, I did graduate from college or university, whichever one you want to call it. Um, uh, my bachelor's degree is pretty much a glorified history degree, and I have a minor in anthropology. Um, and I was on the dean's list, so I made... I made good grades. Um, when I was in college, I took some time off and I completed a teaching internship in China. Um, and then after I graduated, I completed a year on the JET program in Japan, um, which I'll leave a link down below if you, if you want to know what the JET program is. And then in the US, I've taught other subjects. Um, that have nothing to do with English, um, but I taught uh, first aid and CPR through the Red Cross, and I was a, I'm an assistant instructor with Patty for scuba diving. Right. So I have teaching experience. I mean, but I do not have. I do not have a teaching certificate in the US. All right, next, the intent, the intent of this video. I'm making this video for the intent on teaching in China. So th things may or may not apply to you if you want to teach in other countries. Um specifically in China, the visa process has changed. So to get a working Z visa, um to legally work in the in in China, um, you need to have real certificates, so real pieces of paper, um, and they have to be notarized um, by any notary as the uh, that being official documents, official original documents, and then you have to have them authenticated by the State Department. And I'll leave a, a link in the description about that. You pretty much have to have three documents um, that are notarized and authenticated. So you, you notarize them, then you put them in an envelope pretty much, and then you send them to the State Department, and then they um, authenticate them as being real um, documents, and then they send them back. Um, and then after that, you submit them to the Chinese embassy, and then they authenticate them. So for the real for a real working visa to legally work in China it has changed a little bit um China's really trying to crack down on faked documents um okay choosing the TEFL course this is going to be completely up to you it's going to be how much time you have how much money you have and what you want to get out of it and how much teaching experience you have um, when I was initially looking into actually getting my TEFL certificate, I wanted to be in a in a classroom. I do the best learning for myself when I'm in a classroom. Um, but I noticed for my own city, it didn't match with my time restrictions. Um, so I ended up choosing an online TEFL course so you can go at your own pace. But then I wanted, if I was going to do online, I wanted to make sure I can go at my own pace and I can just, I can just knock them out. I can just blow past everything. Not blow past, but you know what I'm saying. Um, you can do it at your own pace. So if I have eight hours one day and I can knock out eight hours of a subject, boom, that's what I want to do. And I don't want any type of restrictions or whatever where, oh, you can only do one unit per day or something like that where it takes like six months. Um, so 
Uh, I whittled it down to two different courses, depending on price and time. And, and what actually made me choose, um, they're both accredited by the same company or organization or whatever, which was Accreditat or something like that. Um, and they were both pretty much um, used by the company that I applied for in China. Um, or like partnered or whatever. The company knew who they were and they accepted it. Some companies or schools won't accept some because they're more or less like BS classes, I guess. Um, um, so I ended up choosing... The company that I ended up choosing to do the online TEFL course um, was because on the certificate that you get, the real authentic certificate, it has the school's name and logo on it. So the one that I chose was the one, in my opinion, that had the better logo and the, and the better name, and it just appears more professional. I don't want a website's name on the certificate or something with like, words or names that are just unprofessional like express or fast or quick or something like that yeah i don't want anything to where it appears that i just willy-nilly just bought some tefl certificate online remember you do get what you pay for um so obviously the classrooms and the more expensive ones um and ones that are maybe accredited by a university or a college are probably they're going to be more expensive they're going to be more consi time consuming you're going to get a lot more out of them um and even when it comes to like the all the thousands of internet ones when you're doing your research some will have videos some will be all text some will be like powerpoint presentations um the one that i unfortunately chose i read the reviews and they claim that they are all text but i will give my review when i'm done with it which is also in this video um, and then there's always the CELTA if you have your degree and you are serious about teaching um, you definitely need to look into the CELTA course that's gonna that's gonna range in like the thousands of dollars so you're looking at like a, at least a two thousand dollar real life class that's gonna take like four weeks roughly could be on weekends um, but you actually have to go, pretty sure, two classrooms, and you have to have, you do like real teaching. That's why CELTA is like number one, uh, number one. All right, that's the end of my PowerPoint here. I'm gonna. All right, so I chose TEFL Full Circle. So this is their website. Um. It was mainly because when I did the research and I just look, I like Googled pictures of like their certificates. Um, you you can kind of see what the the their certificates are gonna look like when they're mailed to you. And this one, I mean, it's got some pictures and stuff like that. You can it gives you a lot of information. Um, and I went with the 160-hour course, which from what I was told online is just the 120 plus a 40 teaching young learners. Um, but now that I bought it, and we'll, we're about to see that in a little bit, now that I bought it, you'll see that the, they're kind of mixed. You'll get a 160-hour TEFL certificate and a 40-hour young learners certificate. So you get two certificates. Um, on some of the other programs, I was confused on what certificates you're getting. Um, I didn't know that there was a certificate over 120. So until I get the certificate, and I'll show you here in a second, um, it may say 120, it may say, and a 40, or it may say 160. 40. But this one claims to give you two certificates. Um, on top of that, you also have to look at the fine print because sometimes you have to pay extra. Most of these online ones will give you a free PDF one, which is fine in some of the countries. They will gladly accept it, or they just want a copy. That's fine. In China, you need the authenticated certificates. So with TEFL for Full Circle, it's 
nine pounds um because they're based in london so that's probably like 13 dollars extra um some other places charge up to like 30 or 40 dollars for them to mail you the actual certificate but pretty much they all give you the pdf for free um yeah so that's why i chose tefl full circle mainly just for what the certificate looks like i like to look as professional as possible you know appearance um plays a big role in what people see in a lot of this stuff um so when you buy the program they first give you two downloadable guides uh the first one has a grammar guide it's just a 15 page grammar so you're pretty much going over everything adjectives uh adverbs uh, nouns uh prepositions so i mean it's it's a good review on a lot of this stuff and if you're a native speaker there's a lot of things you won't remember like past progressive and stuff like that um you know it sounds right or wrong but if someone were to ask you to explain it you'd be like uh okay um and then the other one is uh, the activity guide these are downloadable um so these are just ideas of activities for you in the classroom so i mean as soon as you buy the program they give you two guides and i mean just skimming over this thing it, it gives you roughly i mean your your generic ideas i mean i've done all these this stuff before the ball and spelling game you throw a ball at a student and have them spell a word and then have them throw it to the next student and then they spell a word memory games stuff like that i remember um i've done a lot some games work for different age groups and some don't um when i was in japan they really liked playing battleship so i pretty much um made a trivia style giant battleship game on the chalkboard because they use chalkboards at the school i was at um some kids like to sing some people don't so i, I also had like uh some karaoke actually as my warm-up usually top 40 american song had the karaoke in class we had projectors like that and had some students come up and sing if they knew it and you give them like well at the school i was at we were allowed to give them like point cards so on like their final exams and stuff like that they got like one point every participation point added like point on their final exam um okay and those are the guides so then you log in you buy it and you log in um and this is what it's going to look like so also when you buy it you can definitely look online you can find all sorts of deals from either other schools or groupon or any other like uh discount service um so a lot of times you don't have to pay the full amount um so we'll just log in and this is pretty much what you're gonna see so you're gonna see this is these are all your modules so with this one it's it's 26 modules um and then you can download your certificates um and then once they have everything graded they are they supposedly mail you your certificate certificates which i've already paid for so when i paid for it um you just add stuff to the cart so i chose the 160 um tefl certificate and then i scrolled down a little bit and then it said certificate nine pounds and i added that to the cart. um and then here you'll see your timer the, the time that i've been given to finish this roughly six months um and then you will no longer have access to this from what i've read in the reviews um people online have said that a good method is to as you go through the modules make screen caps of things and make your own either pdf or uh, powerpoint presentation so whenever you like forget something you go back and you can go over it whenever you want so you pretty much have all this stuff at your fingertips 
for the rest of your life since you paid for it. Um, so yeah, that is uh, this is going to be the intro. Um, if you hold on for a couple of seconds, it is it is May twenty seventh right now, so I have not yet started this, but in the snap of my fingers, I'm going to be done with this, and I will give you the my full review of this. And then from there on, we will go to see how long it takes for my certificates to arrive. I'll go over the notarization and authorization processes. And then I'll get ready for my working Z visa, which you will all see um, coming up right now. Thanks.